if you have pork cutlet we can actually sell those as a over the bowl of the rice with the kind of enclosure with the egg it's called a katsudon all right here's the ichiban dashi okay this is like a japanese seafood broth this is the kombu and the katsu okay bonito flakes in there here's the 100 cc of the katsu dashi and you pour the, the sugar okay and the 30 milliliter of the mirin sweet sake All right, and at the 30 cc of dark soy sauce. If you want to cut it off the, the sugar, okay, you can actually cut off the just a bit of the sugar and you can add the salt on top of it to encounter the flavor. That's also the good idea too. Go ahead, mix all those three well. And when the dashi. So that's going to be the, the base broth. And right here, you're going to slice it a little bit the onion first. Thin slice the onion. So that's going to be go over to the, this is called the don nabe. This is just a personal size, the donburi nabe, which is we're going to cook the topping part on here and pour over to the, the bowl of the rice. All right, you're just going to layer the okay, onion on top right there first. And the cutlet, it doesn't have to be too much. Just a good amount of the cutlets can go cross it over here. So. After you deep fried, you can probably cut good amount of the a pork cutlet. That goes on top right there. Then you start pour the sauce right over the all the edges. Even you can pour it over the top. That's fine because you gotta kind of cook through the, the cutlet again one more time over here. You need the good amount. Then you can move over to the grill and we're going to start heat them up right here. In the meantime, what you gotta do is going to separate egg yolk and egg whites. All right, you're gonna separate about the two eggs, okay? You're going to separate the egg yolk and egg whites. Because of egg whites and the egg yolk, there's the hardening temperature is a little bit different. So, you're going to separate egg yolk whites. All right, make sure that the egg whites part, okay, you're going to cut the stickiness. It stick together, so make sure you're going to cut through. All right, and you keep eyes on it. Cutlet over here. Let it cook the sauce at the same time, kind of to reheat the cutlet over here. So if you like to steam up a little bit, if there's a, also the lid over here too. Then you'll see that the little steam come out from the little hole right there. Could be the good option too. All right, now it's like cutlet is itself is nicely heated through in there. So then you're going to add the egg whites first.
Okay, all these at the egg whites going to be hold all the sauce and the flavor together. And go ahead, close it a li little bit. But don't try to make it egg whites harden up. Not the well done. Just like kind of a little bit harden up. All right, in the meantime, right here, you need to pour the rice over to the, the empty bowl. Okay. And your rice get ready right here. All right, then last part, okay, you're going to okay, break the egg yolk and go ahead, pour over the, the whole pan. All right, and it's up to you, but okay. So if you like to cook them up with the egg yolk, nicely done, you can go ahead, close it. But the Japanese people prefer that the egg yolk was lightly done. Okay, so like almost a raw is okay. All right, now you're gonna turn off the heat. Then there's a little bit extra sauce in there. That's gonna be too wet, and it's gonna warm up your like the ball of rice. So what you're gonna do is just uh, you're gonna you can dump the little bit extra sauce away, but don't cut them off too much, because like if people like to eat the the rice with that sauce, because okay, there's a, so much essence on there. It's okay, so, like you can go ahead pour the little bit sauce in here. And like leave it still your pan a little bit wet because otherwise all these like a stuff on at the pan it's not gonna slide over to the bowl of the rice so you're gonna use it the lid gently nicely moved still the sauce is underneath it then you're going to start sliding 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 over to the To the bowl of the rice then you just close the edge in all right the last thing is going to be this is the pickled ginger it's a different the pickled ginger from sushi but yeah this particular things is always go nice with it okay so you just pour on top of it and this is nicely done for pork cutlet over this of the rice called katsu don.